So I was recently asked to do a video about how to do grounding while walking. So if you have not checked out any of my videos about what is grounding, I will link that up here. But grounding is a very crucial tool when combating chronic dizziness, 3PD, vestibular migraine, anybody with visual vertigo. So if you're walking down a crowded street, which is one of the biggest complaints that I have heard in the past month, and that visual overwhelm is just too much for you to handle and it makes you feel dizzy, but you know you have to ground and you just don't know how to do it, this video is for you. So I came up with nine different exercises that you can use to dynamically ground. A lot of my videos include static grounding to start off with. So if you have dizziness in those scenarios, you need to start off with static grounding. And that means staying in place and trying to figure out where your center of gravity is, kind of listen to your feet and stay still and grounded. Dynamic is going to be the harder version. When you no longer have dizziness just standing still, you have your dizziness when walking about or in those visually busy streets. But how do you do that when you're walking around? First, you're going to practice this in the comfort of your own home in a very quiet and controlled manner. And then that's going to get you used to feeling for your feet when you're out and about on the city streets. So let's go through this sequence that I came up with. So the first strategy you're going to do is practice what it feels like to just walk normal and listen to kind of and figure out where the placement of your foot was. Did you like where you placed your foot? Did you walk too narrow? Did you cross your feet one over the other? Did you accidentally veer off to the left or right? So you're just paying attention when you walk normally where your foot lands and did you like where it landed or are there any changes you would like to make? The second strategy is to walk with a strong heel strike. So your brain figures out what it feels like to actually connect with the ground. So you're going to flex that foot up and you're going to hit that heel when you're walking on the ground first. The next strategy is to take exaggerated long steps. This gives you an opportunity to feel your whole lower extremity engage. You're gonna feel that heel strike roll to the ball of the foot, you're gonna feel your thigh contract, you're gonna feel your booty squeeze as you control your way through that entire stride. So take long, exaggerated steps so you can feel your whole lower extremity engage throughout your walk. It'll be a lot easier on the busy streets if you can learn how to engage in your home, how to control your core and your booty while you're walking. The next is grapevine. I like this one for coordination of the limbs. It really gets you thinking. It's like, how do I move my leg? Uh, brain, leg, communicate. This is where I want you to go. This is how I wanna place. Now, if this feels a little unsafe to you, please do it by a kitchen counter or holding onto a chair. As you take that leg over, step out, go under. Take the leg over, step out with the other, go under and think about how your foot feels before you take that next step. Are you balanced? Do you feel safe to take that next step? Next strategy is to walk with eyes closed. So three to four steps, you should be able to walk with eyes closed. You visualize your path, you get really tall, and then with a nice arm swing, you're gonna close your eyes and walk those three to four steps, open your eyes, make sure that you're walking that straight path, that you feel safe, um, if you do have a tendency for imbalance or fall risk, again, please stand near a hallway or a kitchen counter that you can just kind of trace your fingers along uh, because safety first. But you should be able to walk with eyes open three steps. You should be able to walk eyes closed three steps. There is no difference. You should be able to count on your feet. You should be able to ground and walk that straight path for at least three steps with those eyes closed. The next strategy is to walk on your tiptoes. So I really want you to feel that ball of your foot connecting with the ground. So if you are falling forward or you're swaying a little bit, walking on the tiptoes will teach your brain, oops, I better get my weight back. And this is what it feels like to walk a little bit too forward on my toes. 
So each of these approximately are going to be one minute long. I didn't mention that before, but practice each exercise for a minute long. The next strategy is to stomp the ground as you walk. This will really engage that somatosensory when you kind of put with purpose as you stomp on the ground and notice that you're connected. Is the flooring hard? Is it bouncy? Are you walking on sand? Is it on grass? And it has a little give to it. So that stomping will really help you connect with the earth as you walk through those city streets. The next strategy is to engage your core. So I want you to pump those arms when you're walking. Get a nice arm swing and purposeful so you can feel your core contract when you're walking. Like if a gust of wind came or somebody bumped into you, that your core is so tight and engaged that they couldn't push you over. So walk tall, tighten your stomach, and walk with those pumped arms. And the last strategy I want you to practice is walk like you're shopping. So when you are on those busy streets, I know there's something to look at. I know there's signs to look at and people to look at. I want you to be prepared. So if you turn your head, I don't want your body to go with it. So you're going to just walk and casually stroll and look left and look right every few seconds like you're scanning, like you're shopping. And the main objective is that you can walk a straight path when you do that. If you find that your body is going left while you're turning left, try to correct it. Make a conscious effort to correct that. And then you'll repeat that while your head is moving up and down as well. You're walking and making sure you're not falling back when your head lifts up. So that's going to be practiced for a minute as well. Now, all combined, Doing these strategies will then carry over into a functional improvement while you're walking down those city streets. When you feel dizzy, try to engage these principles, these methods that you learned in this video. Find one that works for you, it makes you feel like you're in control of your body. Let that visual input go past you and let that dizziness reduce. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Until I see you next week, stay healthy, stay steady, and stay strong.